हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू जीके टुडे टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज वर्ल्ड बायोफ्यूल डे वर्ल्ड बायोफ्यूल डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड एनुअली ऑन ऑगस्ट टेन टू हाईलाइट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ बायोफ्यूल्स व्हिच आर प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम एनिमल वेस्ट एलगी एंड इंडस्ट्रियल एंड एग्रीकल्चरल वेस्ट बायोफ्यूल्स अनलाइक फॉसिल फ्यूल्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड इन अ शॉर्ट अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम एंड आर लिक्विड और गैसियस दे आर इन्वायरमेंट फ्रेंडली सस्टेनेबल renewable and biodegradable too bioethanol biodiesel and biogas are the three types of biofuels which are mainly used in india bioethanol is made from sugar and starch heavy crops and surplus agricultural waste and biomass in if we talk about biodiesel then it is produced from various type of vegetable oil and bio wastages from agricultural farms and forest now biogas it is produced via anaerobic digestion of biomass waste and animal waste in india the ministry of petroleum and natural gas and the ministry of environment forest and climate change started celebrating world biofuel day from 2015 onwards but august 10 was chosen as world biofuel day because on this day in 1893 german inventor sir rudolf diesel successfully ran his diesel engine on peanut oil this was a path breaking discovery as it created a safer renewable and sustainable alternative to fossil fuels now what is the theme of the world biofuel day This year the theme of World Biofuel Day is to promote the use of biofuels over conventional energy resources. Now we will understand some initiatives taken by government to promote biofuels in India. The first is blending of biofuels. Second is Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Yojana 2019 to create an ecosystem for setting up commercial project and to boost research and development in 2g ethanol sector this scheme was started third scheme is gobar dhan yojana that is galvanizing organic bio agro resource scheme this scheme focuses on managing and converting cattle dung and solid waste in farms to useful compost biogas and bio cng thus keeping village clean and increasing the income of rural household the fourth repurposed used cooking oil or ruco it was launched by the food safety and standard authority of india and aims for an ecosystem that will enable the collection and conversion of used cooking oil to bio diesel the last national policy on biofuels 2018 This policy expands the scope of raw materials for ethanol production by allowing use of sugar cane juice, sugar containing materials like sugar beet, sweet sorghum, starch containing materials like corn, cassava, damaged food grains like wheat, broken rice, rotten potatoes, unfit for human consumption used for ethanol production. So this is all about the topic. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.